Hello everyone, my name is Ari Gutierrez. I am a student of Mechatronics Engineering at the Tecnológico Nacional de México Campus Querétaro. And it is a pleasure to be here in this event with the project Design, Manufacture and Characterization of a Thin Film Photosensor Device. This work focuses on the manufacture of lead sulfide PBS thin film sensors synthesized by the chemical body position CBD method and their electrical characterization. CBD methods have been recognized for their low cost, simple instrumentation, low energy consumption, and they do not contain ammonia. Lead sulfide has been used in photodetectors, solar cells, infrared detectors, biosensors, among others. This chemical compound can measure radiation in two ways. It's possible to measure the photocurrent or measure the change in the electrical resistance of the material when photons hit. From the manufactured PBS sensors, an electronic circuit based on a voltage divider was designed, capable of manipulating a transistor to the control of the charges like an LED. First, for the methodology, the PBS dim films were synthesized where EQ solutions of the metallic and non-metallic precursors were incorporated in a temporary controlled reactor. The materials were obtained after three hours of reaction at 50 degrees Celsius. Once the films were obtained, they were cut into one square centimeter pieces to condition the sensors with conductive silver, copper, and platinum paint contacts. Placed at an average separation distance of 5 mm. Figure 1 shows the series of 8 PBS DIN film sensors obtained. The electrical characterization of each sensor was carried out by measuring the electrical resistance with a K Lake brand digital multimeter, and all these in light and dark conditions. The Kickstart 2 software was used to configure the multimeter's measurement parameters for both conditions, the measurement time range and the number of measurements for the time. The instrument took 100 electrical resistance measurements in a period of 8 seconds for each of the components. Figure 2 shows the electrical behavior of the sensors in dark conditions. The resistance values in general present a significant dispersion. The analysis of the graphs allows us to observe that the behavior is linear for the most of the sensors. This result shows that the manual conditioning method of the sensors is not optimal, since the difference in distance between the contacts is not the same in all cases, which can be seen in figure 1. The data of the calculation of the coefficient of variation for each sensor shown in table 1 demonstrate the low dispersion between these values in a quantitative way. Figure 3 shows a graph of the average resistance data normalized to the separation distance between contacts for each component, both in light and dark conditions. Finally, Figure 4 shows an application proposal in the field of electronics. It will be a conditionated circuit for a light-dependent resistor, LDR, that can control the base of a BC548 transistor if there is an incidence of light. As a result, an LED turns on when there is light and turns off when there is no light. The conclusions and future work. The manufacture of the thin film shows homogeneous repository results and the manipulation of the films to create the electrical contacts allows evaluating a good addition. The electrical characterization of each photosensor shows stability over time. It is necessary to improve the technique for the application of the contact to compare the electrical resistance. I want to thanks to the TechNMF project for the support. Thanks a lot for your attention.